in a world that's always evolving, our personal spaces should too. To maximize both work and play, every design choice matters. Hello, I'm Kirk Engineer. Today I'm giving my setup a much needed upgrade. I've got some cool tweaks to show you and who knows, maybe you will get some ideas for your own setup too. Stick around and let's get into it. This is my previous setup. It was perfect for me and I used it for two years. Setup has the IKEA Saljan kitchen countertop. It's 186 centimeters long and around 60 centimeters deep. The countertop sits on two of the IKEA Narpsa legs and one of the Alvarez leg that is uh, seems like they discontinued now. After using the setup in this configuration for two years, setup felt just not quite there for the storage space and the desk height. To upgrade the setup, I I went with the classic IKEA hack with two Alex drawers but with an extra twist. I also bought eight furniture legs or furniture risers whatever you call it. Those will go between the Alex and the Saljan desk that I have to create more space and also increase the height of the desk. After I ordered the stuff from the IKEA, I got the delivery in a week and I started to disassemble my old setup. Then I continued with installing the drawers. Here as you can see the Alex drawers that I built sitting next to the old setup. For the furniture legs I bought, I always wanted to buy them because in few years back I watched a random Frank piece setup video and I thought that the idea was so cool and I really wanted to apply the same concept into my own setup now. So I opt for eight of the chrome ones that are eight centimeters height, installed them on the Alex drawers. Unfortunately, I couldn't use the drill to open up the holes. The drill had intersects with with the furniture riser so I had to go manual with the screwdriver. It took really long and it took a lot of effort from my side but at the end uh, the final result was good. I was satisfied with the result and continue with the placing the countertop on top of the risers and continued with installing the monitors, PC or doing cable management etc. For the cable management I used the IKEA Signum. All the cables are placed on the IKEA Signum and I just love the cableless look on any PC setup just looks so nice on any setup I look at it when there is no cables. So I always go with the cable management. One important thing to mention is the monitor layout. In my previous setup I was using two horizontal monitors but for this time I switched to one horizontal and one vertical. I've been using it for a week now and I think it has some advantages to two horizontal ones. For example if you read lots of long text or if you write code it's great for that purpose and also it's just just really great for watching YouTube shorts. It's just like 24 inch tablet that I can watch shorts with. It's just great. For now, I will use this layout and if anything changes, I will let you know. I hope this video gave you some ideas to improve your setup too. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and like this video. It really helps the channel to grow. See you in the next video.